This is the story of one of the world's most famous and yet misnamed hats. For more than 120 years, mules have been bringing toquilla palm fiber from the hills surrounding Montecristi, near the Pacific coast of Ecuador. Freddy Pachay is a third-generation hat artisan. It's a very tough job because you have to cook the palm fiber. You have to split it, put it to dry in the sun, afterwards wash it and cure it. But that's just the beginning of an exquisite craft. The best strands are specially selected. They aren't naturally that thin. They have to be worked and prepared until they are all identical and have the same color. So you can imagine the effort this implies, working and weaving something that is so fine. Pachay's great-grandfather was one of the first to commercialize the Montecristi hats and export them to Panama at the beginning of the 1900s. During the building of the Panama Canal, former U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt was given one and fell in love with it, nicknaming it the Panama Hat. However undeserving, the name has stuck to this day. The more welts the hat has, the more flexible and light it is, almost like fabric. Yet it's strong and can last for up to 20 years. Este para acá? No, este no. No? Uh, oh, God, no. This is way too difficult. I've been trying and trying. I just cannot get it right. This weaving technique is so complicated and not to mention uncomfortable, the position. So let me tell you, this is not easy work. Pachai's 84-year-old father began making them when he was eight. El precio the price one gets is very little compared to the time it takes to make these hats, so unfortunately less people are making them these days. Some of the finest hats can take up to a year to weave, but the artisans rarely fetch more than $1,800, even when they're sold abroad to the rich and famous for up to $25,000. Still, his grandsons are already becoming the fourth generation of Pachais to produce the original Toquilla palm hat. A proud symbol, not of Panama, they say, but of their country, Ecuador. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Montecristi, Ecuador.